A day after his packed-out rally in New York, Donald Trump's presidential campaign is dealing with the fallout from a series of racist remarks made by speakers at the event. Madison Square Garden, how we feeling, huh? Comedian Tony Hinchcliffe was a warm-up act for the Republican candidate. He used crass language in a series of jokes about Latinos, Jews and black people. But it's this line that's drawing the most criticism. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Last night we had a great rally at Madison Square Garden. Not deterred, Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail, appearing at events in Georgia. The Trump campaign says the comments do not reflect the former president's views. While in Wisconsin, his vice presidential pick sidestepped criticism about the New York event. I haven't seen the joke. I, I you know, maybe, maybe it's a stupid racist joke, as you said. Maybe it's not. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke. But I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just, I'm so over it. Some Republicans and Democrats are denouncing the racist remarks made in New York, along with prominent Puerto Rican celebrities. Now, it's something Kamala Harris is trying to capitalise on in her pitch to voters. I will never forget. They understand that they want a president of the United States who's about uplifting the people and not berating, not calling America a garbage can, which is what Donald Trump, those are the words he has used. Puerto Rico is an unincorporated U.S. territory in the Caribbean. Its 3.2 million residents are U.S. citizens, although they don't have voting representation in Congress and the island doesn't vote for president. But they do have an influence with relatives on the mainland. And Americans of Puerto Rican origin or ancestry in the swing state of Pennsylvania could sway next week's vote. It's a shame that man thinks about us when he was there 15, 20 years ago. He had a golf a court, a court. He had hotels over there. He lost everything. And now he's, you know, bashing us and talking bad about us. We're part of the United States. We are Americans. I don't like that. They say that to Puerto Rico. They're doing the best, too, but there's a lot of lies and person doing things is not correct. Oh, that was about the comedian. No, that's that. That was a fault. That wasn't. He should have never said that or joke about that. 